The Battle of Würzburg was fought on 3 September 1796 between an army of Habsburg Austria led by Archduke Charles, Duke of Teschen and an army of the First French Republic led by Jean-Baptiste Jordan. The French attacked the Archduke's forces, but they were resisted until the arrival of reinforcements decided the engagement in favour of the Austrians. The French retreated west toward the Rhine River. The action occurred during the War of the First Coalition, part of the French Revolutionary Wars. Würzburg is 95 kilometers southeast of Frankfurt. The summer of 1796 saw the two French armies of Jordan and Jean-Victor Marie Moreau advance into southern Germany. They were opposed by Archduke Charles who supervised two weaker Austrian armies commanded by Wilhelm von Wartensleben and Maximilian Anton Karl, Count Bailet de Littor. At the Battle of Amberg on 24 August, Charles managed to concentrate superior numbers against Jordan, forcing him to withdraw. At Würzburg, Jordan attempted a counterattack in a bid to halt his retreat. After his defeat, Charles forced Jordan's army back to the Rhine. With his colleague in retreat, Moro was isolated and compelled to abandon southern Germany. Order of Battle French Army Army of Sambore Muse General of Division Jean-Baptiste Jordan 25,000 Infantry 5,000 Cavalry 11 Artillery Batteries Division General of Division François-Joseph Lefebvre Division General of Division Paul Grenier Division General of Division Jean-Étienne Championnet Division General of Division Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte Cavalry Reserve General of Division Jacques-Philippe Bonneau Austrian Army Army of the Lower Rhine Feldmarschall Archduke Charles Division Feldmarschall Lieutenant Friedrich Freier von Hotzer Mixed Brigade General Major Michael von Kienmeier Infantry Brigade General Major Johann von Hiller Cavalry Brigade Oberst Anton Canisius Division Feldmarschall Lieutenant Anton Steri Mixed Brigade General Major Prince Johann of Liechtenstein Infantry Brigade General Major Eugen Montfro Bavarian Infantry Brigade General Major Bartels Grenadier Brigade General Major Konrad Valentin von Kaim Division Feldmarschall Lieutenant Johann Sigismund Riesch Cavalry Brigade General Major Prince Alexander of Wattenberg Cavalry Brigade General Major Joseph Spiegelberg Division Feldmarschall Lieutenant Paul Cray Cavalry Brigade General Major Friedrich Hohenler Ingolfingen Cavalry Brigade General Major Karl Joseph Hudik von Furtak Infantry Brigade General Major Franz Sabotendorf Infantry Brigade General Major Prince Friedrich of Orange Infantry Brigade Feldmarschall Lieutenant Joseph Stader Reserve Feldseemeister Wilhelm von Wartensleben Grenadier Brigade General Major Johann Kollerut Grenadier Brigade General Major Joseph von Skellenberg Grenadier Brigade General Major Ludwig von Vogelsang Cavalry Brigade General Major Prince Franz Serif of Rosenberg Gorsini Cavalry Brigade Feldmarschall Lieutenant Karl of Lorraine Lamisk Battle. The French army advanced against what they thought to be an isolated Austrian division under Feldmarschall Lieutenant Anton Steri. Jordan's plan was to attack Steri with the divisions of generals of division Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte and Jean-Étienne Championnet, leaving the divisions of generals of division Jacques Bonneau and Paul Grenier in reserve. However, the early morning mist enabled Archduke Charles to bring up the division of Feldmarschall Lieutenant Friedrich Freier von Hotzo as a reinforcement to Steri effectively undoing what Jordan thought to be a great numerical superiority for the French. Jordan's imagined superiority diminished even more when the division of General Major Anton von Elsnitz to the north kept the much larger force, under General of Division François-Joseph Lefebvre out of the battle. Meanwhile, Austrian engineers were laying pontoon bridges over the main in order to let the remainder of the Austrian army cross the river. The French attacked the Austrian position without success until the Austrian divisions of Feldmarschall Lieutenant Pagray and Feldzium Eister Wilhelm von Wartensleben arrived and drove the French off the field. Result 
Army of the Lower Rhine The French suffered 2,000 killed and wounded, plus 1,000 men and 7 guns captured. The Austrians lost 1,200 killed and wounded, with 300 captured. The Battle of Würzburg determined the winner of the 1796 campaign in southern Germany. Charles pursued the beaten French, turning Jordan's south flank and keeping between him and General of Division Jean-Victor Marie Moreau's French army of Rhine-Moselle in southern Germany. On 7 September, Charles forced the French to lift the siege of Mainz. By 16 September, the opposing armies were back on the Lahn River where they started the campaign in June. On that day, Cray with 11,000 Austrians defeated 15,000 Frenchmen of Jordan's army at Limburg and Air Lahn. The French general fell back to Dusseldorf and crossed to the west bank of the Rhine. The French gave up their siege of the Ehrenbreitstein fortress on 17 September. Charles left 30,000 soldiers with the Army of the Lower Rhine, placed him under the command Feldmarschall Lieutenant Franz von Wernick, and hurried south, Army of the Upper Rhine having disposed of Jordan's army. The Austrian Archduke forced Moro's now isolated army to retreat west through the Black Forest to France. On 18 September, an Austrian division under Feldmarschall Lieutenant Franz Petrasch stormed the Rhine bridgehead at Kael, but was driven out by a French counterattack. At this time, Moreau's army was still south of Ulm. On 2 October, Moreau defeated Feld's Meister Maximilian Anton Karl, Count Bailet de la Tour's army of the Upper Rhine at the Battle of Bibrach. While French casualties numbered only 500, they inflicted 300 killed and wounded, while capturing 4,000 soldiers and 18 cannon. This slowed the southern Austrian pursuit, but with Charles rushing south to cut him off from France, Moreau retreated to the Rhine. On 19 October, Moreau with 32,000 soldiers fought Charles with 28,000 Austrians at the Battle of Vemendingen. The French suffered 1,000 killed and wounded, including General of Division Michel de Beaupuy killed. In addition, the Austrians captured 1,800 men and two cannons. The Austrians' losses totaled 1,000, including Feld's Umeister Wilhelm von Wartensleben killed. The French withdrew south and fought the Battle of Schliengen on 24 October. This time, the Austrians lost 800 while inflicting 1,200 casualties on the French. Both sides claimed victory, but Moro retreated to the west bank of the Rhine. Moro soon offered Charles an armistice, which the field marshal wanted to accept. At this time, the Austrian government made a huge error by refusing to ratify the agreement. That fall and winter, while Charles reduced the fortresses of Kael and Hunningen, the French government transferred 14 demi-brigades from Moreau to General of Division Napoleon Bonaparte to help the latter bring the siege of Mantua to a successful conclusion.